three extra steps that I took that made my press-ons last for two weeks. Literally, these did not even lift. They just broke because I was being a little too rough. <laughs> Hello, friends. This video is for my press-on wearing girlies, okay? Don't be ashamed because I'm about to give you good game, all right? These are press-ons, okay? And two nails broke. I've had these on for exactly two weeks now. Two weeks today. This nail broke yesterday. That was a day before two weeks. This nail broke about a weekend. <laughs> It was about a week and two days in, actually. So we did pretty good. But the thing is, these broke like acrylic or gel X nails. I usually do gel X. But these are press ones. And y'all know, for the girls who know, when press ones break, they break all the way off. And you just got to glue them babies back on. These nails did not do that. And I have three tips that I feel like rigged the press on system. Okay? And these nails are long. So honestly, I expected them to only last like a week and they lasted two and they probably could last longer if I just simply redid these nails but I'm not gonna do all that I'm taking them off today and before I take them off the same way I would gel X I'm showing y'all good game because I'm gonna have to cut these down and soak them off probably with acetone use my drill and get off the top coat and then soak them off but let me tell you the first tip that I did that was different than usual is I did a basic gel manicure on my nails. So I did a base coat and I did a top coat. That was it. Put it under the lamp. And so I also did like cuticle work and all that. So I gave myself a basic gel manicure with base coat and top coat. And then the next step that I did, which was different than usual, was I filed the insides of my nails. Like the nail part that would hit my... I guess nail bed, <laughs> I just filed it with my drill down. I filed it a little bit just to make sure it was a little rough surface there, right? Right? We've heard that before. But this last step, I think, is really the game changer because it was the game changer for my Gel X nails as well. I use nail dehydrator on my gel manicure. So if you know, you know, but when you put the nail dehydrator on top of a Gel X manicure, it won't break through. It's just taking off all the extra oils. So I literally, after I filed the insides of my nails, whichever nail, whichever hand I was starting with, I put the nail dehydrator on top of my gel manicure. I didn't just glue it on there. This is a bonus tip here, but I let the glue sit a little bit. I let it dry a little bit to get tacky like you would with eyelash glue. So I did that and then I put them on. I would say I waited five to 10 minutes and then went on about my day and I have not had any problems since. That nail dehydrator, I think that was the extra step that really took it over the edge because it got all the excess oils off. So anything that would have made my nails lift or break is gone. <laughs> so it really like, and I've done so much in the past two weeks, like it's crazy. Um, so now I'm ready for these babies to come off because they're long and I don't usually have my nails this super long, but I really enjoyed them and it's just going to be so hard to part with them, but they have to go, um, especially because these babies is gone. So I'm just going to file off the top layer, soak it off with acetone and my little clips, and then we'll be on to a new set. But I really wanted to share that with y'all because I know that I've been trying to master the press on game for years. <laughs> because I don't like the whole like filing down my nail bed and all that. I, I don't really dig that. So this was something that changed the game for me. And I hope that y'all can benefit from this. And I hope that you also can let your press ones last for two weeks straight because that is so crazy. And these could probably last longer. So yeah, put this in your back pocket. And also, um, I'm going to put some nail dehydrator in my Amazon storefront. Honestly, I got my nail dehydrator from Timu, though. It was just a random buy. Um, my first purchase with Timu, I was like, let me just get some nail dehydrator because I need some nail stuff. And it works just as good. So I feel like you can get nail dehydrator from anywhere. So I'm going to put it in my Amazon storefront. Maybe like my nail essentials because I have a bunch of stuff from Amazon. A bunch of nail stuff so maybe i'll just put all that in an amazon storefront and y'all can pick and choose which y'all want from there anyway that changed the game for me i hope it changes the game for you so my new little tagline for press ones is don't be ashamed baby i'm about to give you good game because <laughs> these press ones really did what needed to be done i'm so obsessed 
I am so obsessed. Okay. Also, last thing. If you're interested in some personal ones, hit me up because I do them on like a case by case basis. I do nails for family. I do press ones for family and friends. So if you're interested, hit me up and I got you. It's more like a word of mouth thing. Okay.